Oh, the, when uh, this uh, in Israel, just to give a general explanation, in Israel we have, according to the law, we have to give everything that we write about military and intelligence issues to the military censorship. This book was submitted to military censorship. When it came back, I counted 750 deletions. Uh, and a tedious negotiation started with them. And uh, we won, and we, we submitted some appeals to Supreme Court. We won in most cases. One of them is the case of Nahum Manbar, an Israeli businessman, ex-officer with the IDF, a hero of the Yom Kippur, October 70 to the war, who became a businessman and cynically, cruelly, and viciously sold chemical warfare to Iran. The fact that this was not caught by Mossad in time and the whole affair uh, were banned by military censorship, I appealed to Supreme Court and won, and there's a chapter in the book called The Termite File, because the whole operation was codenamed The Termite, uh, describing the operation. In some cases, we reached compromise. One of them was very funny, I think. There was, there's, a, there's a chapter called The Second Coming of Hezbollah that starts with an interview with a Mossad prominent figure dealing with Hezbollah, in which he says, in 50 years, when they open the secret files, people in Israel would be amazed to how poor was the human penetration of Israeli intelligence into Hezbollah. When, the, when people would read these secret files, they would be shocked and sad to see that Mossad looked far less uh, like James Bond and far more like Inspector Clouseau. And then he asked me, do you know how many real agents did Israel have in the ranks of Hezbollah? Like in the true ranks, not in the sympathizers, not in outside circles. It's Hezbollah troops. And he lifted some fingers of his right arm. Now military censorship took everything out. We appealed against it. And the outcome was a compromise in which they permitted to publish everything, and it's in the book, except for the exact number of fingers that he lifted. So if you read it, you'll see that it's somewhere between one and five because it's only his right arm and no fingers were chopped in previous uh, operations, uh, but there's no exact number. Now, I think it's ridiculous, but yet we had to reach some sort of, um, uh, of compromise. I would say this, the bottom line is, 95% of this book is new information, and I think that, after all, the knowledge of the reader of what's going on in that clandestine war between Israel and the United States on one hand and Iran on the other was not severely damaged by this censorship.